Hello my sohorts and welcome back. Uh, it's been a while. I hope everyone had a happy and healthy holiday season and are starting the new year in a good spot. I hadn't planned on doing this video today but I figured why not so let's get into it. I see this question a lot with beginning card weavers and I've also been asked it specifically about my brocade weaving as well so I figured I'm just gonna throw this video together to answer and make it easy. So that question that I see a lot is when weaving something that is not twist neutral that is where you always turn the cards in the same direction how do you deal with the thread twist this this thread twist here that builds up behind the cards so how to deal with it. I have two different methods for dealing with this twist and I'm going to tell you both of them. The first one is, oh, okay, one, one thing I want to say, when I do my brocade weaving specifically, which is not twist neutral, I am generally doing headbands. Uh, here is one that I did, you know, this fillet band, whatever you want to call it that sits, you know, around the head. So I'm not weaving, you know, long belt lengths or anything and or in a brocade form. I'm generally doing pieces that are 35 to 40 inches long. So my method for dealing with twist is one way. For this pattern specifically, you can see what I did is I changed my turning direction right in that center there and then I get this mirror point right in my center. So the first half of all my weaving I turned one way and then I hit my center point and then I started weaving in the other direction. And then I just finished out the band and by doing that I was able to eliminate all the twists that had built, built up because I was turning in the opposite direction and untwisting all of that build up behind what I've already woven. Now this this works nicely because as I said I, I get this very nice mirror point in this directional weave. I do not need to, there are, there are other ways, other places to change direction within a weaving band. And as you can see I've also oops, only woven the center, it's, it's twisting because I need to block it again, the center quarter, half, and it's more like a third. Yeah, so about the center third of the band. So another method, if you don't want to have that big old mirror point, is to weave, 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 until you get to where you start your brocade, then change directions while brocading, and then switch again here to that first direction that you were using. So that's one method. The one I have started using in all of my weaving, not just my brocade weaving, that I don't need to, that, that allows me to not change my weaving direction at all the entire time is, this is super easy, it just requires thinking outside the box, I use fishing swivels. So this is what it looks like. Focus. There we go. Focus. So what it is is I've got this hook piece up here, and then my swivel here allows my thread to turn on one side while keeping the other side stationary, and that is what I have been using in all of my weaving lately, and it really does make life so much easier. And it is the one downside is you can't do a continuous warp and use the swivels, which I have done occasionally with brocade especially since I'm just using the same thread for the entire ground, but it's, you know, not that big of a deal. So I've only gotten one card warped on this loom so far, but you can see right here, I have just knotted, I've got a loop here where it goes through the one end of the swivel, and then I just tied a knot with my tail end of my thread over here. And as I weave, it will twist and untwist as I need it to, and then I won't get that buildup of tw 
twist behind my cards that leaves me with a ton of unweavable thread. The one thing that I do need to do using the swivels is push back all the twist to the swivel every once in a while. So generally for this, which is my big loom, I will do it every time I advance and move my card, my thread up. Whereas for my smaller one, my, my little itty bitty one, which you can see all the swivels are right here on this one, I will do it generally every two times I advance on this one. And that is how I deal with twist buildup on non-twist neutral weaving patterns. It works for any type of weaving, any type of card weaving, where especially if you have, for example, a border that is always turned the same way while the inner part goes might be twist neutral, the outer parts are always turned in the same way. What I did when I was weaving one of those is I just put swivels on the outer threads that were not in it done in a twist neutral pattern. And it just makes life a lot easier. <laughs> so I oops, let me close it so I don't spill them all. I picked up this box of 200, 200 swivels on Amazon. Um, I will link down below. And yeah, that's about it. A one option. If you want, you can You can take the, the swivel part itself off of the hook if you really want to. Um, I, I just leave them on and then it means that I can just, you know, usually. Okay, this one doesn't want to open, but this, this, this loop in theory does open, so it makes it a little easier to take the swivels out. Um, you will need to cut the other end, but that's something that generally happens anyway when you're trimming the end of your weaving. So. I, if you had questions about how to deal with twist buildup, I really hope this helped and gave you an idea of two methods for it. So if you want to see my video about tablet weaving where I do a slightly deep dive into it, uh, you can check that video out right here. <laughs> Bye.